Ukraine's President Zelensky tells the G19 leaders not to ask Ukraine to compromise. Ukraine President Zelensky addressed the G summit, G20 summit leaders in Indonesia via video link on Tuesday. He told them not to ask his country to compromise with Russia in order to reach a peace deal with Russia. In a snub aimed at Russia, Zelensky referred to the group as the G19. Ukraine should not be offered to conclude compromises with its conscience, sovereignty, territory, and independence. We respect the rules that we are people of our word, the Ukrainian president said, according to Politico. Anti-war reports, Zelensky said that there would be no Minsk III, referring to Minsk I and II. They breached those, con those agreements, obviously. Agreements that failed to end the civil war in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region. The war in Donbass was sparked by the U.S.-backed 2014 coup that ousted former President Viktor Yanukovych. In response to the change in power, separatists in Donetsk and Lugansk oblasts of the Donbass declared independence from Kiev, the Ukrainian government. Under the Minsk agreements that were brokered by France and Germany, Kiev agreed to cede autonomy to Donbass separatists and the territory wouldn't be, remain a, a part of Ukraine, but the accord was never fully implemented. In response to Zelensky's speech, the Kremlin said that his comments there will be no Minsk III show that he's not serious about negotiating. Zelensky's speech came after Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, General Mark Miley, said that this winter will provide an opportunity for peace talks that should be seized, but other members of the Biden administration don't agree with Miley, and the U.S. reportedly assured Ukraine that peace talks with Russia don't need to happen. There's been more talk of diplomacy since Russia withdrew from the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. They went on the, onto the eastern bank of the Dnieper River. They withdrew. Uh, I thought it was a retreat. It's a withdrawal because they felt that they would be safer that day because they were being surrounded by Ukrainians. But Ukrainian officials said that they want to expel Russia from all of the territory it's, it's captured, including Crimea, which, of course, Russia has controlled since 2014. So what do you think is going to happen? Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This is by Niam Harris on News Punch. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.